The truth about the new ocean breaking Africa apart. What would occur if Africa split into two continents? Which continent will it be? Even so, is this possible? Africa is where a new ocean is forming. The splitting in two of the African continent has been proven by geologists as the creation of a new ocean. A 35-mile-long rift that developed in the Ethiopian deserts of the remote region in 2005 has been determined to be the beginning of a brand new sea thanks to international research. Seismic data from the rift's creation is combined in the most current study, which was published in the journal Geophysical Research Letters, to show that it is driven by processes that are comparable to those at the ocean's bottom. Africa's tectonic plates and Arabia's have been progressively separating for nearly 30 million years and colliding in the desert. The same ocean has also split the Red Sea, albeit it only does so at a pace of a few thousandths of an inch every year. If you subscribe to Africa Reloaded and enable the notification bell, you can receive updates on the movement of the plates that are going to partition Africa. Before we start, don't forget to comment and like this video. Geologists studying the plate tectonics of Africa believe that the 54 countries are soon to be separated, giving humanity a new motherland. From northern Ethiopia down to Mozambique, the East African Rift divides the majority of the population from eastern coastal states like Kenya and Tanzania. The two pieces of land are separating at a rate of 7 millimeters each year, according to a recent study published in the journal Nature. In actuality, countries with their own coastlines include Zambia and Uganda. Experts assert that a number of actively active volcanoes along the rift, such as the Old Doinyo Lengai in Tanzania and the Ilu Dalapilla in Ethiopia, are offering fresh perspectives on the process. For more than 50 years, the Erba Ale volcano in Ethiopia has been erupting nonstop. For the past two years, the Victoria microplate, the largest of its sort on Earth and which is wedged between each side of the gap, has been rotating against the clock. Every other plate on the continent, including the main African plate, rotates in the opposite direction from the Victorian microplate. According to scientists, this peculiarity might hasten the rift's separation. At the peak of a big volcano, Christopher Moore, a doctorate student at the University of Leeds in the United Kingdom was standing close to a lava lake when he observed the red glow of lava flows a few kilometers away. Even though it might appear strange, everything continues to be the same in Ethiopia's Erba Ale. Are these behaviors the first signs of an impending tectonic transition? In Erna Ale, more has been studying this subject. Changes occurring along eastern Africa's whole eastern region could separate the continent and create a new ocean basin. The magmatism at Erda Ale may be showing evidence of this changeover since it resembles a mid-ocean ridge. There is dispute over how close the distant region is to this tectonic change. The lava's petrology during eruption, notwithstanding the geophysical features of the magma storage at Erda Ale that may suggest this, may show that we have not yet entered the stage of oceanic spreading. In 5 million, 50 million, or 100 million years, the panorama from summit Erda Ale will seem significantly different. The question is whether the Erma Ale and the Afar region will combine to produce a new ocean or if continuous tectonic collisions to the north and east of Africa would obstruct this transition. Please share this video and leave a comment if you enjoy it so that we can learn what you think. The Complex Tectonics of Eastern Africa One of the few regions on Earth that most closely resembles the surface of the moon is the Faraway region. This dry, desolate area of Eastern Africa, close to the Red Sea, is covered in lava that was formed when a continent rifted. The Afar region is home to a triple junction at the confluence of the Nubian Somali and Arabian tectonic plates. Between Djibouti and Eritrea, they all combine to form a massive eye on the Earth's surface, with the Great Rift Valley, the southern entrance, extending more than 6,000 kilometers into the heart of Africa. The Red Sea Rift and the northwest converge on the Seam Peninsula. To the east are the Aden Ridge and the Oceanic Spreading Ridge. All of these limits are growing at rates of up to 1.5 centimeters each year. Africa is a continent that is rupturing apart because of its intricate tectonic structure. 
For 30 million years, the Somali plate, a piece of eastern Africa, has been drifting away from the rest of the continent. As a result, the Great Rift Valley, which starts in Ethiopia and Eritrea and separates around the Kenya Dome before merging into the Malawi Rift, was created. You may find the rifting continent on a map by looking at the chain of lakes, which surrounds the base of the Great Rift Valley and includes Tanganyika and Mayasa Malawi. As the Red Sea Rift spreads by around a centimeter each year, the Arabian Plate has also been moving away from Africa. The Persian Gulf will eventually close and merge with Eurasia as the Arabian Plate eventually contacts the Eurasian Plate in what is today Iran. The intricate tectonics of the distant region have given rise to some of the biggest volcanoes on Earth. This volcanism's eruptions are bimodal, meaning they fall at opposing extremities of the compositional spectrum. Enormous blasts of more silica, huge basalt lava, flows coexist with rich lava. The Great Rift Valley is bordered by these volcanoes. What causes the splitting of a continent? Why do rifting and spreading take place here so frequently? One reason is that the distant plume has heated the area from below. This mantle plume caused the African continent to begin to rise and fracture, creating rift valleys. The development of new continental rifts and, ultimately, the separation of two passive continental margins bikes to four, spreading at ocean ridges, similar to how the North Atlantic Ocean opened 80 million years ago, appear to be closely related to the presence of huge mantle plumes. Geologists have long been able to identify various tectonic settings and plate borders. Extensional, divergent, collisional, and transform boundaries are examples of well-known boundaries. Less is known about how one border transitions into another. How can we tell when an ocean rift in continent changes into a completely new ocean basin? Not all continental rifts succeed in causing true oceanic spreading. Some rifts are ineffective. This was the case when efforts to separate North America at the mid-continent rift failed some 1.1 billion years ago. Just because we can see the continental rifting does not mean that we are inevitably heading toward a new ocean. The Faraway region, which is situated at the meeting point of tectonic plate boundaries, may be where a continental rift transitions to an oceanic spreading ridge. Examining the area's crust is one way to approach the question of this transition. As opposed to the average continental crust thickness of 35 kilometers, the crust beneath a farg may be as thin as 20 kilometers. This contains the millions of years worth of basalt strata left over from volcanic eruptions that have covered the area. How does this affect Africa's future? The direction of tectonics in the distant region is uncertain. Many of these issues are far from established, including when, if ever, the region will develop into an oceanic spreading center, whether or if an ocean basin will form between the Somali and Nubian plates, and how spreading in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden will occur. One model predicts that the Somali and Nubian plates would crash with Arabia 50 million years from now, connecting the three plates that are present now and erasing the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. The Erna Ale eruption is still going strong today. The East Pacific Rise's mid-ocean ridge magmatism and the volcano's magmatic plumbing are both closely associated continental processes, according to Moore's research. If that similarity foretells future occurrences is still up in the air. Researchers believe that the local volcanic activity points to a rift to ridge transition. Since the Irma Ale has been continually erupting for more than 50 years, it is projected that the eruption would result in the formation of a new, narrow ocean basin and the related mid-ocean ridge. Scientists predict that the ocean will begin to form at the I-shaped junction of the African, Somali, and Arabian tectonic plates between Djibouti and Eritrea. Scientists believe they are unaware of what will happen to the two land masses and whether or not a new ocean will form, even though it will take tens of millions of years to find out. Thank you for sticking with us to the end. For any worry and question, drop them in the comment section below. And if you are new, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. Also remember to enable the notification icon to get alerts of newly released videos.